Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Ass My John Readers. This reading will be for my Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for the upcoming week of May 25th, 2020. On the 28th, Mercury moves into Cancer, so that very favors heartfelt communication. People might have issues communicating how they really feel, what they really want, right? Um, and depending on your chart, that may actually benefit you, right? This is your chance to speak from the heart. What are the major things for my earth signs for the upcoming week of May 25th, 2020, please? Okay. <laughs> oh, only I knew. Two bamboo duck. Okay, so first of all, angel number 234. Look that up, earth signs. See if it resonates. So issues with the partnership, right out the gate. Already I see that. Issues with the partnership. Um... Yep, with this duck. Somebody could be breaking up this week. But it's going to make it's going to be financially beneficial for you. Or this is going to benefit you even if it don't benefit you financially right right off earth signs, right? Maybe somebody was draining you, they were a mooch or you had to pay all these bills or something. Um ultimately it's going to lead to something better. It's going to lead to a stronger foundation. It's going to lead to you getting yourself back, right? Stronger um mental health and even self-esteem and self-worth, right? It may take some effort as well to get back on your square. But you ultimately benefit from this. This is your, they lost, not yours. Or somebody could have some issues in a relationship over money, but I think that's a, a, a clean breakup. Um, two circles pine. Yep, could be with an earth sign, right? Y'all are earth signs. But somebody's contemplating changing the environment, somebody contemplating moving, focusing on themselves, which is good. Again, improving yourself. Y'all was probably in some type of situation where y'all was building somebody earth signs. And now it's like, no, once you cut them off, once, you know, with this isolation stuff, y'all might have seen like, this ain't working. You get to look, focus on yourself again. Come out of the shadows because you were like trying to help them build their dream. Like you were putting them first or their needs and you know what I'm saying? Maybe stuck in one area that you didn't want to be in. And now that, you know, you are putting them aside, you able to focus on yourself. It's the younger guy energy too. It could be a Pisces. Yep. Oh yeah. Somebody, this is breakup energy. And it looks domestic. Don't look like, oh, a boss or something like this. Yep. It's divine. It was divinely orchestrated. That It wasn't going to last. 33. That's the angel number the, the, of the ascended masters. This is success. This is love. Right? New love. Everything landing where it's supposed to. He's contemplating. He's making a list and checking it twice. Again, the pine is a stable tree. The center is a tree, but this is about love and success. Then look what happens. Something having to make a sacrifice. I told you that. Or something having to be severed. I told you that. Having to make a sacrifice for that person or for what you want. Even if you, you know, stay with them, you still got this. You've given up something, right? Is that not the nature of our relationships? The white card. The decision is yours. But there's something, it's like an enlightenment. You're stepping into who you are. You're realizing what you want and what you really don't want. There's a lot of mental energy here too, Earth signs. Ooh, one one entering. Bam. I'm about to say, some of y'all about to enter, uh, <laughs> what is that thing? I'm about to say, uh, like where monks live. I, I stayed in one, a temple. I'm like, when I lived in Korea, I stayed in a temple. That was interesting. Um, but one bamboo, one bamboo, one wine entering. Look at this. This is emphatic. This reading did itself. New doors opening, barriers being lifted. Oh my card. She's straight walking through new doors, like charging through. She ain't looking back in love. She's willing to make this sacrifice, willing to take this leap. Maybe for you, somebody else was, you know, supporting you financially, like a, a mate. And now you had to make that sacrifice. Like, I can't do this no more, right? I'm sacrificing my dreams for this person to financially support me and I'm, I'm done now. Yep, our success, even if it's not romance, it's some type of success that you gotta make a sacrifice for. But ultimately, look, three is a number of joy, happiness, also the number of expansion. I told you this was gonna benefit you. So whatever partnership issues y'all got going, it's going to benefit you, right? You gotta make a sacrifice. I ain't telling you to break up with nobody, but it does what it look like to me. The toad is also about healing too. So not only will this ultimately benefit your pockets, benefit your sense of self, your sense of self-worth and self-esteem, but this is also gonna heal you on a deeper level, earth signs. Wow.
could be dealing with a water sign too, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't know. That came up twice. All right. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it be. So we're going to start with Virgo. Eight of diamonds. Okay. Eight of diamonds. <laughs> Brilliant opportunities, Virgo. I told you that. Probably after making that sacrifice. Considerable profits are in store for you. They require you to take more responsibility for your own resources or the finances of someone close. Good news removes doubt. Cash your net wide and avoid putting all your eggs in one basket, <clears throat> especially if it's a relationship. You have a holiday to look forward to in August. Reverse. Someone may try to undermine your confidence. These opportunities are coming because you are cutting somebody out of your life. You're cutting something off, Virgo. You're making this decision. And Virgos are very grounded, very stable anyway. Look at all this black and gold energy. This is royalty energy. Look at this. Starting over, going back to the basics. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Clearing slate, right? Blank chalkboard. All black, baby. Moving in silence. Going with the circles of life. Realizing that whatever that you are letting go of, it wasn't meant. But whatever's letting go of you, that's how you get to the new moon, right? That's the next step. New beginnings, but whatever it was, it served its purpose. It's, it's already served its purpose. Being willing to be more open to maybe new things, Virgo, things that you haven't done before, types of people, situations, that type of energy. Next up, <laughs> Taurus, Queen of Hearts. She came up again for somebody else. very very regal green heart chakra stuff old stuff everybody's doing like all this ancestral healing i love it massive healing happening healing childhood wounds and ancestral ties um a disgenerously loving woman is known for her social grace she may run charities or do voluntary work in marriage she is faithful and home and hearth are where your heart is as well <clears throat> you may introduce a new partner to your family and friends Reverse. Someone you thought was right for you may prove disappointing when you get to know her. Okay. Taurus. Queen of Romance. So that is that. This could also be you as well. But they're just letting you know, again, a sacrifice got to be made. So you may have to cut this lady off. Especially if she's an older lady. There is abundance trying to come to you, Taurus. Look at all these gold buttons. And that's what you love. Luxury. Extravagance. The cycle of life. You are wrapping up small cycles. Right, small people, small things, so that you can get to the big stuff, you can get to the luxury, you can get to who you are. That's also going to require some bravery and some courage, right? There are forces working against you. I'm letting you know that. They don't want to see you succeed because they lose, right? It could be in business, it could be in whatever, but you will ultimately succeed, right? But it takes an element of being yourself, speaking your truth, being unique, not being um, afraid to step out into who you are. Strengthening your heart chakra. Green means go. The answer to your question is yes. Look at this. You got it. You have ancient wisdom in your veins that is trying to get through to you. This also represents golden opportunities. Right. Last but not least, Capricorn. Four of Hearts. And... <laughs> oh my gosh. A strong partnership, Capricorn. Your relationship may result in the birth of two children. Two couples or two parents and two children will have to cause to celebrate. If your relationship is experiencing a rough patch, faith and patience will see you through the next four weeks, four months, or into April when matters improve. Reversed. Unsupportive friends and family bring sudden offers of help or admiration. I told you that. When that sacrifice comes, when people start see you swinging that sword and letting stuff go, they want to help you. Again, green light. Give me the green light. Take action. Make it happen. Yes to this partnership, right? The answer to your question. Again, green is also about strengthening the heart chakra. So this is love, but not necessarily romance. All of these gold buttons keep coming out. I love this for y'all. I love this. There are planetary influences in your life that are helping push you forward. If you have felt stuck before, you ain't stuck no more. 
money and grandeur and extravagance is coming to you. There might also be wisdom from an older lady in your life. Um, and there are also cycles that are wrapping up and begin, and you begin in new cycles with these new opportunities. Got to take them though. Got to get, got to make it happen. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Have a week. Peace out.